Hello everyone, I would like to welcome you to my short presentation of PSN module inside Pixar Control written by Benny Mueller. Thank you Benny for letting me test in your module and for all support from you and AV Stunful team. Let's begin, my project is very simple. First I added generic flex screen with the dimensions the same as in real life. My screen is 79cm by 40cm big and in every corner I attached a Zaktac tracker and merged them together. Unfortunately, in Zaktrack if you merge more than two trackers the rotation variables are blocked so today's presentation will focus on position only. In my mapping tab I added my project Christie DVU 1075GS with a lens 0.75 to 0.95. To get the best tracking we have to recreate 3D world as close as possible to the real world. In feed areas alignment should be set to none for our projector. Slice warp mesh with projectors full stream. Apply automatic mapping updates. Set transformation animation duration to zero. Now using the markers set on the edges of the screen we calibrate the position of the projector and the screen in the 3D space. In Composition tab I let my clips to free loop and I set the screen group perspective to 3D. Moving on to the control tab we initiate the PSN protocol. In editor tab we merge the Zack track trackers with the screen and using the offset position we calibrate the real world position with the 3D space position. This is due to the fact that my Zaktrack point 000xyz is on the left of the room and my screen and projector are in the middle of the room. Also in my case x is x, y is z and z is y. Now when I move my screen we can see that Pixar is able to recognize this movement and do inside calculations where the projection should be displayed following my screen. Our tracking system using PSN protocol is able to be understood by Pixera and using the variables and tools inside the control tab we have an opportunity to program some cool video effects which could be used in production. Thank you for watching.